What is going on everybody? So for today's video, I just want to share a story that happened a couple months ago and I did give you some information about it X amount of videos back but now I'm here to give you an update two months later. So let's rewind a bit and let me just start off by saying you can never be a YouTuber, a YouTuber unless you're getting sued and in the if your genre is fitness you can never be a youtuber if you are never being sued by either a fitness model a supplement company etc just being sued so you already know where I'm headed off with the story I'm gonna tell you guys the time that I was being sued by a supplement company for something that I uploaded a year or two ago about them so let me rewind and start off by telling you what happened a couple of years back I uploaded a video that had to do with Boston Lloyd and this other supplement company now Boston Lloyd was a sponsor for their company so he worked under them he got paid under them and he endorsed their supplements well let's fast forward some months later and he no longer worked for them so then the whole thing came crashing down and he just gave all this information about the supplement company under selling their products under handing their products you know under dosing their products cuz you know they would make more profit if they do so so I reported on this I just gave my opinion on it I told you guys the viewers what was going on nothing happened year later actually let me just pause and rewind a bit again there, there's gonna be a lot of rewinding so just you know stay stay on track with me so the guy the owner of the supplement company actually goes to my gym and I already knew this but you know I was just reporting on the story itself and a year after I uploaded the video I'm working out he's there I'm walking towards him to do something else and then he pops he interrupts me and is like hey I've seen your video you need to take it down I kid you not that's how it went no introduction no pleasant exchanges just hey I've seen your video you need to take it down so you know this is towards the end of my workout and I'm just like yeah sure I'll take it down you know what I do the next day I upload another video on them and the title was I think owner of the supplement company tells me to take down my video or threatens to sue me or something <laughs> how ironic right he wants something done I do the opposite so I do that and then maybe a week later he approaches me again you know given given that little sarcastic laugh hey <laughs> oh I'm gonna get you 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 shouldn't have done that I'm like what are you talking about what are you gonna do so like, he's like just wait just wait and see I'm like all right you threatening me like in the middle of the gym I'm yelling this out he's like hey, hey, hey. just just wait and see back in the way like a little punk and after that some time goes by after all the threats and whatnot him avoiding me in the gym me walking the other way I get I, ch I actually check up on my Facebook messenger and you know if you're not a friend with someone on Facebook the messages automatically go to your spam box so I don't know why but I happen to check my spam box and there is a message from his lawyer and the message reads something along the lines of I'm this supplement company's lawyer you've been defaming their company you need to take down this video or further repercussions will occur I'm like okay this sounds legit a lawyer going to me on a Facebook message to take down a video that's been posted on YouTube a year ago so I did nothing about it I'm like who gives a 
Fudge. I get this letter. Let me read you this letter. Let me, let me, let me put on my spectacles and read you this a letter that I got from his lawyer. Date October 5th, 2017. Yup. Dear Mr. Herrick, last name Herrick, I am the attorney for blah blah blah. I have made several prior attempts to contact you over the past several weeks regarding your YouTube video. Several attempts contacting me. Now, what was that method of your of you trying to contact me? You don't mean sending me a message on Facebook. Yeah, that sounds real legit of a lawyer to do. This is a video that you created regarding a dispute my client had with Boston Lloyd. The issue is you make several false statements in your video. Hmm, I'm making false statements. I'm reporting on what had happened. I'm claiming no statements whatsoever. Including the allegation that my client underhands products by taking out important ingredients and putting in cheaper ingredients to make a higher profit. Well, gee, thanks for the views. <laughs> These false statements are defamatory and are actionable as trade liable and slander in the state of California. Hmm, okay. I've request, requested several times previously that you remove, remove this video. This is your final notice before my client files a lawsuit and seeks an injunction along with monetary damages. Monetary damages against you. <laughs> because my video of 2,000 views has destroyed your shitty supplement company. Yeah. Come after me for monetary damages. I'll be more than happy to make or pay you the four dollars I made from that video. More than happy to. <laughs> we are hopeful we can resolve this matter amicably. That's such a big word for someone who messages someone on Facebook for legal issues. But if you fail to respond or take appropriate action within seven days of the date of this letter, we will have no choice but to pursue a civil action. All rights and remedies are hereby expressed reserved. So, this is the letter. But can you guess what happens after this one letter? I get a second letter. <laughs> now, this one is dated October 18, 2017. So, why did I get this, this second letter? Well, let me rewind a bit. Told you there'll be a lot of rewinds in this video. My video got 2,000 views. And I actually emailed Boston Lloyd and we exchanged back and forth emails talking about what had happened, what he did, what appropriate actions he did to, you know, make this all go away. But he was getting paid 25 grand or something a month from this company. So they had more of an issue with him talking bad about their company. And they had reasons to gain if they were to sue him and win. Monetary damages, you know? So he told me right away, their lawyer is a dumbass. I can already see that messaging me on Facebook. And second, they lost bad. But the only reason I didn't take this to court was because after he told me that they lost, he still had to pay a shit ton of money for a lawyer to, to fight them in court. Now, I didn't want to even, you know, put any effort or energy towards something that I only got 2,000 views. If I got a million views, it'd be a different story. I would love to take them to court because... I don't know, every YouTuber says videos are under fair use or whatnot. Honestly, I didn't even care to research this. I just didn't give up. And I decided to take it down. So after I take it down, I actually get the second letter. And the second letter was sent to me because 
they saw that I took the first one down, so they knew I was weak. So they actually wanted me to take the second one down. Same attorney, we appreciate you removing your video regarding supplement company dispute with Boston Lloyd. At this time, we also need you to remove your video that you made regarding the same video here, URL. This video also references false and defamatory material, which is actionable as tried, liable, and slander in the state of California. Blah, 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 you have seven days. So I ended up, that video, the second one only got 300 views. Guess what I did? I took that video down. I can care less. So, that's pretty much it. Was I mad? No. Did I want to get back at him somehow or some way? Yeah, kind of, but I just wanted to troll the guy. I see him every night. Uh, you know, if he's coming after me, I'm pretty sure his company is not doing well without, you know. I mean, they're coming after me for monetary damages. It was a fun time. And this is my story for or how I made it as a YouTuber, because you have to get sued before you consider yourself an official YouTuber. So guys, check that off my Becca list, getting sued, and your boy is finally a YouTuber. <laughs> Completely joking. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this talk or story time while you guys just play your video games and have this video in the background just for noise, which I do all the time. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys soon.